I've been in the area of big data analytics for quite some time. Uh, you know, APIs, applications, data in the cloud, on premises, uh, a lot of different types of applications, both being a vendor and working on uh, as a practitioner of big data. At the Bank of New York, we were investing in new big data technologies and building applications, APIs that can be used to disrupt the financial industry and uh, make us more modern and provide better customer service. I think it's, it's, uh, it's going to end up being uh, uh, you know, very similar to the trend we saw with mobile apps and the changes it brought about with you know, BYOD, with the fact that enterprises had to adjust to their edge moving away, further away from them. So it used to be that you know, people would log into your website, then it became mobile apps on your phone, and now uh, the information and the ability to change the customer's behavior, the user's behavior, and their expectations actually is up to the edge. What that means is uh, the, the security is going to be harder because your devices are now completely out of your control. Uh, you know, it, used to, it used to be that the app was on your phone, but now there are devices that are being used at the edge. Uh, there are devices that are collecting information all the time uh, about intended or in, uh, uh, with unintended consequences. So what happens is you, know, you need you know, more lines of de uh, defense. And it used to be the, the, since the edge has moved, you need more depth, uh, so your strength is in depth, but also ability to, it's what I call visibility, action, and control. You need to have visibility into everything that's going on, but be able to zoom in and out as needed to understand where is the problem and what you can do to react to it as soon as possible. So the challenges in uh, gaining customer trust or consumer trust as you collect more and more data is uh, the lack of, um, you know, if, if, the, if the user does not understand what is being done with the data or who it's being shared with, how long is it going to be around, what is it going to be used for in the future, right? So it's really about, uh, you know, there's, there's a way, you know, if, it, if you can make the experience of the user so much better using technologies like IoT, they might be more forgiving. But if the value prop is not there for the user, what they're left with is you know, loss of privacy, uh, their data somewhere in the cloud with no way of finding out where it is, what it's being used for. And if you still don't have the value prop, then it just, you know, you lose the, the user loses the trust in the service provider, in the device, in the product, in the service, and then they move on. And so what happens is privacy and protection of privacy become stable stakes and IoT vendors or, or other software vendors that, or product vendors that want to deliver IoT enabled devices have to become, have to consider this as stable stakes, meaning that they have to provide it. They have to provide the right controls in the right manner so that people who are using these products and services are not left with something that they don't know uh, how it works and what, what's happening. So you just have to do it. I don't think we'll have a choice. And, and, and providers that provide that capability will be the ones left uh, you know, with the users. Uh, verticals have uh, the way they uh, the way the trend that I'm seeing in how they're incorporating security in their approaches is, you know, you combine security. At least what I feel, uh, what the trend I see, and I think it's going to happen more and more, is the data has to be collected about your users, what they're doing, what they're not doing, are they happy, successful in what they're trying to do, regardless of you know what the application might be. The application could be security, it could be customer service, it could be you know just new product design. And so the trend will be that you just, uh, you know, the company has to come along, the C-suite has to come, come together and just build that capability to see what's happening, to get that visibility at the edge. And then the different applications, security applications, customer service applications, product design applications can be built on the same common infrastructure. And there's no point doing this, you know, again and again, piecemeal for every application. I think that companies and enterprises need to come together focus on building that pipeline of data from the edge to their systems and the ability to, to effect control on the devices out there in the wild and actually do it together across all applications. It's been fun, uh, exciting and uh, reaffirming in terms of you know, what I expected. I would see the kind of uh, you know, the vendors we have here, uh, the products that they're building, services they're offering are in the right direction. Uh, I think the uh, you know, focus on security is obviously there at the conference, and I see that here, and I've, been, you know, I've learned a lot 
seeing the vendors who are providing capabilities like that, which I'm really passionate about. So it's been, it's been a lot of fun.